He shot her. He raped her. He beat her. He lifted her by the ponytail, looked into her eyes, and her eyes were wide open. She was looking in his face. And he said, she's dead. She remembers that. I remember that as a mom. A day does not pass without the memory of what happened to Nikki Ansley back in 2002. Going through a trauma for the past 10 years, not only myself, but my whole family is affected. I'm ready for justice to be served out. But now that a judge has granted a reprieve for Bianca Adams, Nikki may never see that justice. In 2002, Bianca Adams and Richard Cobb robbed this gas station before abducting Nikki, another woman, and Kenneth Vandever. They were taken to a remote location where Adams raped and beat Nikki. Then all three victims were shot. Kenneth died, but the two women lived. Adams was scheduled to be executed by lethal injection on Thursday, but the reprieve changes everything. Outraged. I still am. I'm hurt. I want it fixed. I mean, what's the point of going to court? What's the point in me pointing a finger and saying that's who did it. Adam's lawyers argued he had poor legal help in the earlier stages of his appeals and his death sentence was unconstitutional. The victim's family disagrees. Going through all the appeals process, he still has that fleet of attorneys that follow him through this. One attorney make a mistake? Maybe. But a bunch of attorneys? Unlikely. As the family copes with the judge's decision, Adams will await the court's reviews. In Rusk, Shaley Sanders, KLTV 7 News.